Hello and welcome to a double edition of Conspirator Brock's Pull List. Uh, this will be my pull list for the current week, which is um, September 24th, 2014, and also last week, uh, September 17th, 2014. Um, I had a family emergency and I could not uh, go to work at the shop. I had to watch my kids. Uh, my fiance ended up in the hospital. She's doing okay now. Um, She's, uh, for those of you who are curious, uh, she's had, uh, to su she suffered through a lot of MRSA outbreaks, uh, it's the super staph infection. So this is, uh, just another one of those, but, uh, they, they suck when they come, and, uh, a lot of times she, uh, ends up in the hospital, uh, due to the severity of them, but, uh, she's doing okay now, uh, and hopefully she, uh, gets a good enough dose of antibiotics so it doesn't happen again for a very long time. Um, so I need to play catch up. So first I'll get through uh, last week's books, and then I'll get to this current week's books. So last week, um, I got my pull list, so let's just jump right into it. Uh, first up is Armor Hunter's Bloodshot number three. Um, again, loving the Armor Hunter stuff. Uh, the Bloodshot title has been really interesting. Well, I look at good in this case, but I probably will. Um, I finished the harp. <sighs> I actually sneezed and I'm not going to cut that out. Screw it. Um, <laughs> Armor Hunters, uh, Bloodshot number three. Uh, I finished up the Harbinger one uh, and really enjoyed it, so I'm looking forward to seeing um, the Armor Hunters Bloodshot ends. But overall, I've been very happy with the Armor Hunter story arc. Um, so, yeah. Um, we're still in the middle of Future's End, so we have uh, Batman and Robin Future's End one shot. I'll move it in there, see if it'll uh, change for us. Uh, there. Uh, that one's a shitty angle. Let's see. Uh, it changes into like that beast Leviathan guy that killed Damien. Ooh. Um, for the most part, I've been enjoying the Future's End um, books. Uh, they've been nice little one shots about, uh, f you know, four or five years from now, what's going on in the DC universe with the new 52. Um, so, but yeah, looking forward to that. Uh, next up, we have Batman Eternal number 24. Uh, again, piling up a couple of these to read one big chunk, so um, looking forward to it, because it's been really good so far. Uh, next up, we have a Batwoman Futures End. Uh, let's see if I can get it to change for you. It looks like she just is like opening her mouth or maybe becomes a vampire or something, I don't know. Uh, so we'll see where it goes with this one. Uh, next up is Clone number 20. Uh, Clone was my a book club pick of mine on the Comic Conspiracy uh, last year, I believe. Um, and uh, I still enjoy it. It's still a fun title. The art is amazing. Um, so, yeah. Clone. Good, good stuff. Uh, next up we have Delinquents number two. Uh, the crossover title with Archer and Armstrong and Quantum and Woody. The first issue was pretty entertaining. Uh, so I'm hoping to, that issue two keeps my interest. So, yeah. Delinquents number two. Uh, next up we have Fables number 144. Uh, Fables was, you know, dipped a little bit um, about 10 or so issues ago, um, but I've been enjoying where it's uh, kind of going. Uh, it's supposed to be ending soon, so I'm curious to see how they actually end the title, but uh, I still enjoy Fables, um, but uh, 144 is out last week. Uh, next up we have the Justice League um, Future's End title, so let's zoom in there. A little bit, so it looks like we go to Superman to kind of the futuristic Justice League that's lying around. So, uh, yeah, check that one out. Uh, next up, we have Manifest Destiny number 10. Um, Manifest Destiny is amazing. I actually just finished reading um, the volume one trade again uh, Flora and Fauna. A really, really good title. I really enjoy it. Skybound is actually having a sale on Comixology right now. Uh, if you click on the Manifest Destiny link on, on my blog to this this book, um, this one won't be on sale, I believe, but uh, the first volume, I believe, is on sale for a good price. So uh, click through, help support, support Comics Conspiracy, uh, and get your digital comic that way. But uh, there's other some other great Skybound titles on there as well that are on sale. Uh, Thief of Thieves, uh, Manifest Destiny is one, um, Saga is, I think, another one. Um, but don't quote me on the saga. But uh, there's some really, really good titles that you should uh, check out. But uh, Manifest Destiny, number 10, really looking forward to it. 
Uh, next up we have a really really long name for a title so I'm gonna have to actually look at this and read it and then I'll show it to you. It's the Multiversity Society of Superheroes Conquers from the Counter World! Exclamation point. So I don't know if I said that right. Um, Morrison's Multiversity thing. So um, if you're reading Multiversity it's going to from what I hear be a lot like um, Seven Soldiers. Uh, where you read issue one of Multiversity, and then you read issue one of all the tie-in books, and then issue two of all the... Like, there's a specific order you have to read it in. So, um, this is the next one you need to read. So, um, yeah, Multiversi Multiversity, the Society of Superheroes Conquers from the Counter World. <coughs> so, we'll see where this one goes. Uh, then next up we have the New 52 Futures End Issue 20. That's a pretty intense cover right there. So I'm um, curious to see what happens in this issue. But uh, much like Batman Eternal, I'm putting together some chunks of it and I'm reading it all at once. But uh, looking forward to it. Uh, then next up we have the Digital First Sensation Comics featuring Wonder Woman. This collects digital comics issues uh, 4 through 6. Um... I enjoyed the first issue, it was fun, so I'm going to check this one out, see if it uh, continues to be entertaining. Um, but yeah, Sensation Comics. Uh, the next up we have Trinity of Sin Pandora, the new f the Future's End tie-in. So let's get a close up there and kind of see what's got something's going on with that, that skull. I have no idea. It's like Pandora's like busting out of the mouth. Like three of these covers I think have people like opening mouths like I've noticed. Like the skull in this one opens up. Uh, the Batwoman one opens up. The one you're going to see from this week, Sinestro, just has his mouth open. It, I don't know what it is, but uh, I've enjoyed Trinity in Pandora. I think the series, the the series is over. Um, so I actually have to dig those out and uh, put them up on eBay. Get rid of those because I'll buy the trades. Um, but uh, yeah, Trinity in Pandora, Futures End. I was curious to see where this one takes us in the Futures End universe. Uh, then next up we have Unity number eleven. Um, been enjoying it. Armor Hunters tie-in. Good stuff. So we'll see where that Armor Hunter stuff goes. Uh, next, and then finally for my pull list from last week, I have Unwritten Apocalypse number 9. Um, Unwritten's, uh, this is from Mike or Harry, I believe. Um, good stuff. I enjoy it. Uh, it's kind of odd. It's very, very heavily laced with literary stuff. Um, but for the most part, I mean, I've enjoyed it as I go. Um, it's a title that just kind of it's on my poll list and hasn't really turned me away from it and hasn't turned me into like, oh, this is the most awesome book ever. But it's a really solid read, so Written Apocalypse. Um, my read list, which I've already actually taken care of um, from last week, because uh, I was able to go in and get my books um, and actually pick up a couple reads and read through them. Um, first one, this, these are kind of going to, hopefully going to be in order. Batman Superman Future's End. I uh, read it. It was okay. It was a Batman story about Superman's gone and Batman's broken and he's trying to save the world and blah, 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 blah. Uh, then next up we have uh, Daredevil number eight. Still enjoying Daredevil. Still, um, I mean, it's cool that he's on the West Coast, um, but it's still a solid title. Next up is Elektra number six. Still having fun with Elektra. Uh, again, Daredevil and Elektra kind of stay within their own continuity, and that's a really, really fun thing for me in the Marvel Universe. Anything that starts to tie in starts to get convoluted and crazy, and I just don't give a shit. Um, next up, we have uh, Green Lantern New Guardians. Um, read through that one. It's, eh, it's okay. I mean, the, the Lantern Futures End books have not been too impressive, uh, but, um, you know, what do you expect? The Lanterns haven't been too impressive. Uh, hopefully, Godhead will change that, but... Uh, We'll have to see. Uh, the next up we have Hulk number six. Uh, Hulk is smart and trying to eradicate anybody associated with gamma radiation, and he takes on the abomination in this issue. Uh, it was entertaining. I mean, I'll still check it out, but uh, Hulk number six. Uh, next up we have uh, Supergirl, Future's End. Uh, it was okay. I mean, um, she's like taken over by Cyborg Superman in the future, and she comes back, and there's some stuff with a teen that she used to be a part I don't know. It was okay. Um, then next up we have, um, Superman Wonder Woman, uh, Future's End, which is actually the second part of, um, the story, the Future's End story that's told in there. The first part is actually in the, uh, Wonder Woman Future's End issue, which came out this week as well. So if you're going to pick those up, read Wonder Woman Future's End first, and then read Superman Wonder Woman, uh, Future's End, because that's the reading order for it. 
Um, next up we have uh, Thor 25, the last issue for this Thor. Um, before we go into the relaunch or renumbering of Thor and it becoming a woman. Um, I was a little skeptical at first. Uh, Jason Aaron did a really good job with this issue. Um, kind of leading us into um, this new Thor story. Um, because he, I mean, he's really been telling three different Thor stories at once. The past Thor, the present Thor, and the future Thor. And the way he goes about bringing this to light is, is I think, a very solid uh, way to do it. Um, and again, I mean, we still need to understand what happened from, you know, after Original Sin, um, especially with Thor and what was whispered to him and all this stuff. So this is kind of, the, I view the, th the thing with the female Thor as this is a Thor story. Not necessarily Thor himself because that's his fucking name, but it's a it's a story about Thor, and it's not necessarily the Thor you're used to, but it's 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 a Thor esque story maybe. Um, so I'm I'm actually looking forward to it. Jason Aaron still on uh, the female version of the book. So um, he's been kicking ass with Thor so far. So let's see what he does with Thor with boobs. Um, next up we have Trees number five. Uh, I read through it. Trees is one of those things that's like it's interesting, it's entertaining. Uh, it doesn't entice me completely, but it doesn't disgust me completely, so I'm going to still go with it. But that's the Warren Ellis book, I believe, that's out. I think that, yeah, that should be it. Um, other than that, uh, I already mentioned the Wonder Woman Futures End. Uh, again, you need to read that first before you read the Superman Wonder Woman uh, issue. But if you read either one and you don't get the other, well, you're going to you should get the other to finish up the story. So, um, now that's my list from last week. Sorry again that I missed um, recording. Uh, but again, family emergency arose, and so um, I was not able to record. Uh, but now I'm back, and I'm giving you a double long episode for this week. So now that I've taken care of the old stuff, let's get to the stuff that's coming out at, as I'm recording right now, today. Um, so let's go through my pull list. Uh, first up, I want to mention the... Oh, it's a huge stack of stuff. Not that. Uh, first, I want to mention the... Um, Jesus, tons of stuff sticking in that room. Okay. Um, first up, I want to mention there was a there's an uh, I normally don't like include these in my pull list, but uh, there was a Sammer, Sandman Overture Special Edition Volume for number three that came out this week. Uh, I love Sandman. This Overture stuff is amazing. I know it's slow and delayed, but I don't care. It's Gaiman and Williams artwork. It's a it, It's just amazing. Um, but if you're looking for the special edition, it's out this week. So, oh, sorry, I'm tired and it's a little hot in the garage, and I can't have my fan on because of noise for there. I need to get a better camera system, I do, but well, we'll see. Uh, so let's get started. So, poll list for the week of September 24, 2014. First up is Aquaman and the Others Futures End. Get it in there close, angle it a bit, see what changes. Oh, Aquaman changes, and then it's the Dead Sea King. Uh-oh. So let's see where that goes. Um, I enjoyed the Aquaman one. Um, it was entertaining. But I uh, want to see where that one goes. So next up is Armor Hunters number four, the epic conclusion. Yeah, that's what it says on the cover. Again, I've really enjoyed Armor Hunters. Uh, I can't wait to see where this finally goes, but a really, really solid crossover title with Valiant. Um, so yeah, check it out if you haven't. Um, hopefully uh, or s hopefully soon they'll be uh, available in trade. So uh, Then next up we have issue 25 of Batman Eternal, and yes, that is Hush, and hopefully that doesn't spoil anything for me, especially since I've been chunking it, but it didn't really because I already knew it was coming if he came back. And if I just spoiled it for you, so what? You should be reading this stuff. Don't rely on me to, you know, whatever. Anyway, Batman Eternal, chunking it. Still need to read. Uh, this Future's End title I am super excited for. If you actually go down to the comic book store, this is my pick for the week. Um, just because it's awesome. And it's I'm glad to see him back. Um, but it's Future's End Booster Gold, baby. Yeah, Booster if you haven't read Booster Gold, um, you don't really need to read the 80s series. It's, it's really, really fucking bad. Um, but I really got into Booster Gold from 52, um, when the heroes were gone for a year. Countdown, his own series that John started um, in the before the New 52. 
Um, you know, it just really, really enjoy this character. Really fun. He popped up um, and kind of displaced uh, Jonah Hex in the All-Star Western book. So I was like, woohoo, excited to see that. But um, I'm really curious to see where this book takes us with the Future Zen stuff. So Booster Gold, it's my pick this week at the shop. I mean, I should probably tell you what my pick is normally every week, but uh, again, it, it varies, and it, it, it do I want, we want some, nah, fuck it, never mind. Alright, next up we have Catwoman Future's End. Look at Selena there, uh-oh, uh-oh, ooh, Dark Selena. Good Selena, Dark Selena. Um, again, just, this Future's End stuff's been fairly good, the stories have been fairly solid, um, but uh, I've been enjoying for the most part, so we'll see where it goes with Catwoman. Uh, next up we have Flash Future's End. So there's Flash, and then I think it changes to Wally. Yep, Flash, boom, and then you get Wally. Flash, Wally, Flash, Wally. Um, again, been enjoying the Flash ever since the creative team shift. Um, curious to see what Future's End holds for the Flash. Uh, next up we have Harbinger Omegas 2 of 3. Uh, this continues the Harbinger um, book from Valiant. Uh, I think it spins off into another title or another miniseries. I'm not sure, but um, I really enjoy the Harbinger. Really enjoying checking out Omegas. So we'll see where this takes us. Uh, next up is everyone's favorite, favorite female uh, character. Well, he's my one of my favorites, Harley Quinn. Uh, look at that! Oh, nice little vacation on the beach with the Joker and then it pops into the wedding dress but they're gonna kill each other oh yeah um, again this book has been okay it's very choppy at times um, it's kind of hard to follow it's not necessarily the best but it, I mean it's nice to see Harley Quinn in her own book um, I wish there was a little bit more to it but uh, for the most part I've been enjoying it despite the the choppiness of it but uh, I'm curious to see Harley Quinn and the Future's End stuff, considering in the Suicide Squad stuff she is venomed out and all bulky, so I'm really curious to see where this title goes with it, in connection with the other one. So then we have next up Justice League Dark Future's End, we got the Zatanna there, and then we have like a Dark Zatanna or something going on. Uh, Justice League Dark, still enjoying this book, still like, you know, still, still a good read. Um, I love the Magic Justice League, uh, and if you haven't checked it out, you seriously should. Uh, I think they have like three or four trades out now for the New 52 stuff. Really, really solid stuff. And the uh, big, huge blight uh, from the Forever Evil stuff that crossed over with um, Justice League Dark, Pandora, Phantom Stranger. Uh, huge crossover, like thick, thick-ass trade of blight uh, is out this week. Um, I enjoyed Blight, but it, it, it ran on a little too long for me. Um, but uh, I might go back and, and pick up that trade at some point. Um, then next up we have the New 52 Futures End Issue 21, just like Batman Eternal. Getting a couple uh, in the queue, reading them in a chunk. Bam. Uh, next up we have Robert Kirkman's Outcast Issue 4. Um, first three issues have been really, really good. I've been enjoying this title. Uh, somebody asked us on the podcast about horror comics. I, I would classify this as horror comic. Um, really interesting, really good. Um, curious to see where it goes, but Outcast, number four. Uh, next up, one of the best books that's out right now that I've been enjoying immensely since the start of it, uh, Saga, number 23. Uh, Brian K. Vaughn and Fiona Staples have been doing an amazing job on this book. If you have not read Saga, you need to get on this. It is an amazing, amazing, amazing title. But uh, Saga 23 is out. Uh, the next up, I had to get some sex. Uh, sex 16 is out. Um, it was Joe Casey's book. It's interesting enough. I mean, it doesn't turn me off or completely or turn me on completely. <laughs> which is funny. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, I've been enjoying it for the most part, so I'm, I'm, I'm plugging through and keeping, keeping up with it. Uh, the next up we have another mouth opening, mouth closing cover. This is Sinestro. So mouth open, mouth closed. Mouth open, mouth closed. Uh, I like to think that the mouth open scene in here is like that Wolverine cover where he's like, oh, oh with the claws through that zombie thing in space. Um, but uh, curious to see if Sinestro uh, holds up uh, as a much better read from the Lantern books like the main title has been. So we'll see where Sinestro is in the Future's End universe. Uh, then last up we have <coughs> Exo Man of War number 29, uh, Armor Hunter stuff. Again, it's concluding. I'm really curious to see how they end this and tie this everything up. 
But uh, Armor Hunters has been a really fun and amazing read, and I highly recommend you go back and check it out. But the uh, Exo Man of War 29. And then uh, my read list for this week. My read list is pretty light for stuff I took home, um, considering, you know, again, we cannot stock books that people don't want to buy off the shelf, and people aren't pre ordering. So um, there's that. Um, so the stuff that I took home um, first up is Guardians of the Galaxy 19 where we find out what the fuck happened in the Cancerverse and how the fuck Star-Lord got out and how the fuck Nova got out and how the fuck Thanos got out. I know I said fuck a lot, but I'm really pissed off. This is a really, really, really bad, bad edition of Guardians. I feel sorry for people who are exposed to the movie and we're like, ooh, I want to read something and they're reading this filth. They need to read the Abbott Landing stuff. I'm reading it just so I can be pissed off about reading it and give it to you straight. But, in Guardians 19. Uh, then next up we have... Um, Rick Remender's Low, number three. Um, for the most part, it's okay. Um, there's been a, a lot of gratuitous sex stuff in in the issues, which is kind of off-putting, especially since this is supposed to be underwater, and I don't even get the real sense it's underwater. Um, so, but, uh, I, mean, I technically already read it. It, it. It's okay, but, you know, we'll see if it keeps my interest for the next issue or two, so. Uh, the next up we have... Ooh, it's really late, sorry. Um, we have Red Lantern's Future's End. Look, Guy Gardner's red and then blue, red and then blue, red and then... And there's a theme with most of these lantern books. It seems the lanterns are changing colors in the future. I, I, I don't know. Uh, we'll see if it's... A, red Lanterns has been okay. We'll see if this keeps up with that, at least. Uh, then next up we have uh, Futures in Superman, which I actually enjoy this cover. It's kind of got that nice Superman and then, you know, goes to the new mass Superman in the future. Old Superman, new Superman. So we'll see what this one entails. But Futures in Superman. Um, so there's a couple of books that I was not able to take home this week. Hopefully I'll get a chance to read them um, beginning of next week or uh, the uh, end of this week. But uh, one is Alien, Fire and Stone, number one of four. Uh, Prometheus, um, Fire and Stone, number one of four, came out uh, a week ago, two weeks ago. Um, and I checked that out. It was really, really good. I really enjoyed it. Um, so I'm, I'm looking forward to this Alien as well. I hope I get a chance to read it. Uh, next up, we have Bodies, number three. Uh, it's the Vertigo title about four murders um, in four different time periods. Uh, it's curious. I mean, I'm... It, it piques my interest enough to read it. There's one time period and one character that they follow that I really, really don't care for. But for the most part, I, I've enjoyed the book. Um, and again, I think um, that one I would classify as horror. I, I, we were on the spot the other day on the podcast, and I, 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 I could not for the life of me have anything come to my head besides ever and Witches that's coming out. Uh, next up is Cow Number 5. Ooh, sorry. Um, I don't even remember if I read Cow Number 5. Four, to be honest with you, um, but I've really enjoyed um, Cal for the most part. Uh, it's an interesting take on superheroes and combining those with unions and, and the time period of, of when all this kind of th this change in the unions and, and stuff took place in the 1950s and 60s. So uh, Cal number five, I, I, I'd recommend it if you're curious about a different kind of take on uh, superheroes. I know it's the drinking podcast. Give me a, give me a break here. Okay. Next up, we have Inhumans or Inhuman number six. I mean, it's been okay for the most part. It's been a whole hell of a lot better since Joe Mad got off with the art. The art is okay on it now. The story seems to be moving forward, so I'm curious to see where it goes. Uh, again, it doesn't completely pique my interest, and it will probably fall off my read list if it doesn't, you know, gain any more kind of momentum. But for the most part, Inhuman number six. Uh, the New Warriors number ten. Heaven for I don't know how in the fuck anyone thought this book was going to be. If anyone didn't know this book was going to be canceled, I should say. Uh, after reading the last issue, issue nine, they knew it was going to be canceled. Issue nine was abysmally horrible. They had a mascot, like villain. It was really dumb. Like tweet Ryan Higgins, he will attest that he it was dumb. Um, but New Warriors number 10, let's see how far, how much further they can fall in the next, in the last few issues of this, of this series before it's canceled at 12. Um, then next up we have, uh, the last one on my list here is Superman Doomed number 2. 
Now, I already read it, um, and Ryan specifically handed me this book when I came in today um, and told me to flip through it. And if you haven't been reading Doomed, that's okay. Uh, but if you like comics, the DC Comics before the New 52, uh, I would recommend you check this book out. There's something that on the last page that's very, very interesting and uh, begs a big, big question about what's going on, um, going to be going on with the uh, DC Universe in the future. So, uh, but Superman Doomed number two, that was the title. Uh, it was an okay read. I mean, Doomed was okay overall. Uh, so yes, yeah, so that's it. So I've gotten through all of my pull lists. There's two pull lists. There's too many. I, I hate doing these bulk pull lists. I am. I apologize for the long, long-winded um, episode here for this. Um, as you can see, I got my loot crate, ba bam, up there um, from this month. Uh, I got the video on YouTube if you want to check that out. Uh, it was really cool to get uh, kind of open up some cool stuff in there but uh, head over to that and check it out if you want to see what I got in my loot crate uh, again thank you for watching um, again um, for those of you who've clicked through on Amazon to uh, purchase things and support and give me a little kickback appreciate it uh, keep clicking if you're cur if you want to buy something on Amazon click buy it help me out a little bit uh, any, every little bit helps uh, remember if you get your uh, digital comics through Comixology do it through cons um, Comics Conspiracy and that helps the store out immensely. That also helps me out because I work there. Um, so, yeah. But, uh, again, leave comments. Let me know what you think. If you have any questions, I'll try and answer as many as I can. Um, uh, also, I'm on Twitter, uh, at Brock Sager. And uh, you can also find uh, this and other, other information on conspiratorbrock.com. Um, share this video with your friends. Say, hey, check out this red-headed bearded ginger guy talking about his polis what an idiot uh but share it with your friends you know because that that's how the word spreads and all that stuff but thank you for subscribing you know click subscribe if you like it uh thank you for subscribing for my subscribers uh thanks for supporting me and and clicking through on those amazon links and if you um want to help me get uh, my loot crates every month uh, or you want know you were curious about loot crate go ahead and click on through on one of those loot crate uh links that i've connected you to and that will help me uh keep getting my loot crates so I'm really excited for uh, next month to see what the theme is and all that stuff so uh, thanks again for watching and uh, I will see you next week <laughs>